check mic check check one two check check one two three check 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 mic check 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 mic check Wow. Someone who has been a part of our journey. But before I also do that, I think it's important that I even tell you that we're going to be sharing the key highlights of the upcoming Nexa IFA Awards and, of course, the Soba IFA Weekend that is powered by the Kuber Group, which will be celebrated at the iconic Yas Island in Abu Dhabi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with over 1,600 screens, they are the biggest cinema franchise in India. And this IFA journey would not have been possible if it wasn't for them. Please put your hands together as we now welcome onto our stage the co-chief executive officer for PBR Limited, Mr. Alok Tandan. Hi, thanks for having me over here, and, and welcome. I welcome all of you to, to PVR Inox uh, over here. Well, it's a privilege to be a part of this uh, mega event, uh, and IFA PVR Inox has been with Sabas, Andre, and the team for the last, I would say, 20 or more years. And I think our, continue, our journey together will only get better over a period of time. And what we saw on the large screen was just incredible. And I've always said that IFA has always stood as a perfect depiction of the Indian film industry across the globe. Uh, it's also stood as, or I would say that IFA has been synonymous to the best of the best in the world, uh, whether it's the new events, whether it's anything which has been done over a period of time, or how the new shows are created, curated, uh, and which are always better than the previous ones. So. It's always done wonders. And what I feel is that it's also become like a benchmark of the best which is yet to come. So that's how it is, because every show is better than the previous one. It's also a platform where the Indian diaspora and the fans of the Indian film industry uh, come and meet their stars on screen. They come and shake hands with them. They spend, and spend some time with them uh, in the at the venue, and that's something which every Indian looks forward to when they come and visit the IFA award ceremony. Uh, Andre and Sabas, you have done some great work over a period of time, and I think that, uh, as I said earlier, it'll be better. I wish you all the very best. And what I also feel is that PVR Inox and IFA have done things differently. Uh, people expect something from us, but we are here to uh, entertain our audiences. We are here to ensure that they have a great time. And whether it's a two hour movie or a three hour movie or a great function, which uh, is always held year after year, I think we are here to ensure that uh, our customers, our guests, our audiences go back home happy. So once again, I uh, welcome all of you here and uh, wish Sabas, Andre, and the entire IFA team a great 23rd edition in Abu Dhabi. Thank you very much. Good evening, friends. Good evening, friends from the media and friends of IFA. On behalf of my co-founders, Andre Timmins, Viraf Sarkari, and myself and the IFA team, welcome to this momentous occasion. In many ways, the IFA is very large. But what we have today for us, both as individuals and as an organization, today is a day of belief and today is a day of partnership. And that for us is something of a lot of meaning. Over the last 23 years, we are now on to our 23rd IFA, having begun at the Millennium Dome and then traveled across more than 12 countries 18 different cities, and Abu Dhabi and Yas Island are probably the first ever location or destination where we've had IFA repeated literally the next consecutive year itself. So it's a big uh, tribute to them for hosting us once again. 
in our IFA journey, we have many friends to thank, many believers who have joined along the way. I'd like to say a big thank you to Mr. Shashank Srivastava, Executive Director of Maruti Suzuki India Limited, who launched Nexa on the back of IFA in 2015 and has partnered us since then. Thank you, sir. Our friends from Soba Realty, who've been represented here today by Mr. Shashi Vidat, their general manager, and the men and family who have committed themselves to being part of this IFA journey. And thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> our special thanks to Colors, our broadcaster now for the eighth consecutive year. PVR, our friends who've not just hosted uh, IFA events, but have really partnered us to showcase IFA in their th theaters before IFA and even during IFA. In 2007, IFA changed its red carpet to a green carpet. And in that single moment, we turned the spotlight onto the environment, on sustainability, on planet Earth. We began to focus on the challenges that we are heaping upon our planet, we as individuals, we as organizations, we as governments, we as people, and began to educate our viewers about what they can do to save the planet. And many of our stars joined us in this journey, and the one who really stood tall and held the flame burning really bright has been Dia Mirza. Thank you, Dia. And she's been an ambassador of a different nature, taking it to heart, pushing us in different directions, egging us to go on, egging us to move forward and do things that uh, would otherwise not be done. So we've been blessed for this partnership with Dia and her friends from the film industry. I'm delighted to invite to welcome today Rakul Preet and Rajkumar Rao, who have joined IFA and would be at the IFA stage probably for the first time ever in their careers. So thank you. <clears throat> the IFA journey today is focusing on water with 18% of the world's population living in our planet, our part of the earth, India, with 20% of the cattle of the world residing over here, and only 4% of the world's drinking water available to us, we really are sitting on a crisis, a crisis that is larger than life, a crisis that no single individual can deal with, no single government, no single corporate can. But we believe that together, we can. And in that belief, we have begun a journey, and soon we'll be joined by the Honorable Minister of Jal Shakti, Sri Gajendra Shekawaji, who would join us on a video link to address us. But whilst we wait for that to come on live, I'm going to keep moving forward before we come to that magical moment. May I call upon to the podium the Senior Executive Director, Sales and Marketing, and a believer in IFA, Mr. Shashank Srivastava, to address us. Thank you, Sabash. Good evening, friends. <coughs> Today is a very happy moment for us at Maruti Suzuki Nexa. We, this is the seventh year that we are associating with IFA. And I think uh, Sabash, Viraf, Andre, and the team has done a fantastic job to make IFA what it is. I think I should begin with a First, a big round of applause for all the team from IFA here. <laughs> Nexa values and IFA values sort of converge. 
which is about the brand values for Nexa is inspiration and creation. And IFA is about inspiring performances by the Indian film industry, taking them and acknowledging them at the global platform. That's something which is unique. And that's the reason why, because of this great brand fit that we continue to associate with IFA. And I see it happening in the foreseeable future as well. <coughs> of course, today consumers are changing. And one of the things which, is, which we are finding from our research is that sustainability is becoming a big issue. And I think uh, this is the reason why today is also a happy occasion for me personally, because uh, IFA has, is not just a platform where you, where you appreciate Indian film talent, but it's also a platform which inspires ideas. And sustainability today is very, very, has become so important. So today uh, we have representatives from the UN, um, Mr. Sharp, and of course, there has uh, always been there uh, in uh, uh, relating to the sustainability part always. So thank you for your presence here today as well. And I'm very proud that I'm privileged. I feel privileged uh, because you guys are here and uh, I'm very happy that the sustainability is getting a big push. In Maruti Suzuki, uh, we have taken many, many efforts. Our powertrain is uh, uh, not just uh, ICE engines but CNG, it's also biofuel, it is ethanol based, it's flexi fuel and also very shortly with our first electric vehicle which should be coming very, very shortly, maybe in the next year. This is reducing the pollution levels. In fact, our CNG alone with our 27% portfolio, we have reduced uh, about 1.5 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions. So that's something which we are very proud of. And uh, it's not just that, we are also uh, moving away from the philosophy which manufacturers have, which is, you, which is take, make, and waste. Today, our philosophy is take, make, and remake, which means recycling and has become so important. And you'll be happy to know uh, that uh, the materials that we use, 95% is recyclable, 85% is recycled, and we use 100% of the scrap of steel which is generated. We are using solar power to uh, put our, uh, to run our factories, uh, is this also reducing our carbon footprint. And in fact, when it comes to, uh, uh, by the way, we are the leading ma car manufacturers, we are three times the market share than our next competitor. Uh, but our, f our carbon footprint is the least among all car manufacturers. And on water, and that is the topic which is so important because it's a resource. I'm told and I've read somewhere the next world war will be fought over water, not over land or not over, over thing. So what is very important, and at Maruti Suzuki, we are recycling 65% of the water. By the way, we have huge factories in four locations but we don't use, our water usage from ground source is zero. We don't use groundwater at all. And that's something which we'll continue to do. So I'm, uh, I, 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 I wish all the best for the IFA. Uh, the event I know will be a success with the, uh, the, the great uh, uh, the organizing strength that you guys have always displayed. I wish, uh, and I also want uh, to make a point here that uh, we will make this message of sustainability and water resource protection as a very important message to propagate in this IFA at Abu Dhabi. Thank you very much. Distinguished guests, respected media representatives. It is an honor to be present in such a grand stage, celebrating the wonderful partnership of Shoba with IFA. As a leading real estate developer with presence in India and the Middle East, and a legacy spanning over four decades, 
Shoba is the only real estate company in the world which is fully backward integrated and it has become a case study which is taught at the Harvard Business School. At Shoba, we pride ourselves in delivering flawlessly crafted homes that showcase the art of detail. As a brand, we are renowned for our commitment to excellence, sustainability, and customer satisfaction, which makes this partnership with IFA a truly significant for this year's edition as the forum recognizes the highest quality of artistic expression and celebrates the talent behind Indian cinema in its full glory all over the world. As Indians make up a notable segment of our investors, for this Sorry, as Indians make up a notable segment of our investors, we are delighted by this opportunity to reach out to a global Indian diaspora that is making waves and shaping the world today. IFA has always supported causes that are important for the environment and for the well-being of communities at large which is very much in line with Shobha's philanthropic objectives and goals. Without exception, IFA has taken the lead in advocating for Be Water Positive campaign that aims to provide access to clean drinking water and in the process bring about a remarkable transformation in the villages of India. We commend the initiative that Aquacraft has taken. It is an ambitious and first of its kind program and uh, to make the world water positive by 2030. Esteemed guests, Shoba Reality has always remained committed in promoting water conservation by leveraging innovative technologies and sustainable practices to ensure that our communities are water positive. Our founder and chairman, Mr. PNC Menon, is the biggest advocate of philanthropy with half of his wealth pledged in charity to facilitate development in the grassroots level and contribute to the welfare of society. Without further ado, we hope through this partnership with IFA, we can positively channelize our efforts and become the drivers of change with regard to sustainability and green living. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Shashi, thank you Shashank San. On the eve of the last World Earth Day, we are meeting in Delhi with the Ministry of Jal Shakti sharing our ideas and sharing our thoughts on what we'd like to do in the area of water. Our plans were very simple. Our thoughts were very clear. But nothing could have made it sharper and brighter and very focused than the conversation with the minister himself and his team. To be able to highlight the issue and what we can do and what each one of us in this room can do with regard to water, we requested Honorable Sri Gajendra Shekhawadji, the Honorable Minister for Jal Shakti, to join us at this press conference. Unfortunately, uh, something held him back in Delhi. I mean, something absolutely unavoidable. And He's taken time out to join us through a video link with a complete namaste from all of us here in IFA. Please welcome Mr. Gajendra Shekhawat to address us. 
बाय में आकर बहुत खुशी हुई नमस्ते इट्स अ ग्रेट ऑनर एंड प्लेजर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस टू बी हियर एंड इफ आई एम बीइंग ट्रूली ऑनेस्ट आई एम फीलिंग अ लिटिल बिट लाइक अ टीनेजर एट द मोमेंट स्टार स्ट्रक बाय द अमेजिंग टैलेंट्स हियर इन दिस रूम एंड आई थिंक द लास्ट टाइम आई वाज इन अ मूवी थिएटर ड्यूरिंग द डे इन द मिडिल ऑफ द वीक आई हैड टोल्ड माय स्कूल टीचर दैट आई वाज रनिंग ऑफ टू अ डेंटिस्ट अपॉइंटमेंट सो आई थिंक वी शुड ऑल कंसीडर आवरसेल्व्स लकी टू हैव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी but all joking aside friends let me unfortunately start uh my contribution with the bad news and the bad news is unfortunately that in the words of the UN secretary general humanity is at war with nature nature is striking back the triple planetary crisis of climate change of pollution of biodiversity loss is putting us all in danger our hottest summers today unbelievably soon will be the coolest rising oceans are displacing people day by day microplastics are found everywhere from the human womb to the deepest reaches of the sea children who make up half of the world's population and are the least responsible for this situation are paying the heaviest price virtually every child on this planet is affected by climate change in some form and yet every child deserves a livable planet earth so the good news is we know what to do we have the solutions to create a better future and the world is waking up and while governments and businesses must take bolder action we each as individuals have the power and the responsibility to foster sustainability in our daily lives according to un environment more than 2/3 of greenhouse gas emissions come from household consumption and lifestyles so it begins with simple acts each one of us saying no to plastics at every possible opportunity using our own water bottles discouraging food waste running our air conditioners only when absolutely necessary and if we must at the highest temperature possible and so on the list of simple actions is as limitless as our imagination and india with the greatest youth generation in history is the